This tutorial will show you how to use 3-axis, 4-axis and also the 5 extra function in MADCAM to cut this part in a 4-axis machine. So first we select the model for MADCAM. Then I select the cutter and I will use a flat end 6mm cutter. And then I will use the 2D profiling and I select the edge curve at the bottom of this red surface. I right click and select direction climb cut and I will put in uh, 0.25 millimeter stock to leave. I can double click to get the height top material top and I put in the same step down because I will go in one cut all the way down but to make a smooth approach I will use a ramp and set the same ramp depth as material height and then I use 5 degrees ramp angle. Click OK and there we have the first tool path. Then I can right click to repeat the command in Rhino, select the next curve, choose direction, click OK. I can repeat the command again, select the same curve because now I will make the, the finishing cut. So then I put no stock to leave and I will only go one millimeter at the bottom. So set one millimeter and then I will make a radius lead in. Click OK. <clears throat> and there we have the finishing cut. Repeat the command, put click on this curve, climb cut, click OK. And there we have the tool paths for those two cavities. So now I will go to cut the outside. So um, then we select the model again for MADCAM. We can uh, enlarge the box by the cutter radius so we will reach outside the model and then uh, we use the um, 2D profiling again. Click on the outside edge choose uh, climb cut and we put 0.25 stock to leave and we ramp 6 mm 5 degrees there we have the rough cut, so we repeat the command again, select the curve, climb cut, no stock to leave, one millimeter, one millimeter step down, radius lead in, and there we have the finishing cut. And uh, now we can uh, simulate this so we have the first rough cut the next and the finishing cut takes uh, 0.25 millimeter and uh, now we can uh, go to the next 
and cut this uh, with uh, four axes. So then we uh, select four axis machine and we use the uh, five extra functions and we can use the swarf uh, profiling. So we click on that and then we click on the edge from the red surface. Right click, choose direction and then we can see that the, the cutter will follow the, the surface so it cuts parallel to the surface. So we choose uh, climb cut and uh, we will just follow the curve, no projection and uh, we could set uh, 6 millimeter. no we will go one cut so we set uh, 0 and uh, I think we should go below so minus 3 millimeter. I think would be ok and then we use radius lead in and uh, yes we should have stock to leave 0.25 for the first cut and then we can repeat the command to make the finishing cut set zero stock to leave then we can select the model again and we can simulate the two paths together. So we see the first profiling, second, the outside and then the four axis tool path. So then we go to the next step and uh, we can hide the other two paths so then we are going to machine those flat surfaces so the um, easiest way is to use the simultaneous 5-axis drive surface so we can click on this red surface and then we can make a planar contouring. We can set step over 2 millimeter. But uh, now uh, I should make a deeper ramp so I can measure the depth to cut. So it's uh, about 2 millimeter. So I should recalculate this tool path. So I click on the recalculate button, click on the tool path, and then I can set the um, uh, ramp to 2 millimeter and ramp angle 5 degrees, and then recalculate the tool path. So now we have a smoother ramp. And then we can make the a profiling tool path on all those uh, surface edges. So I go back to three axes and use 2D profiling, select the curve, first curve, and then that edge. that one and that one right click choose climb cut material top 2 millimeter go in one step 2 millimeter uh, no should have only one millimeter 
radius lead and there we have the profiling to path so now we can go to the next step hide those and uh, now I will make a profiling cut on those surfaces so um, there are several ways to do this we can use the indexed machining or we can also just rotate the model in Rhino so I just rotate this 90 degrees and reselect it and then I pick a uh, ball end 5 millimeter cutter and then I will make a profiling cut on those surface edges so I go to the profiling select the edge that edge and that edge right click and use climb cut and we will go in one one step and there we have the profiling tool path and now we can select the model including the tool path and rotate it 180 degrees and uh, select it again for MADCAM and then we can make a profiling on, on this side so 2D profiling select the edge and that edge and that edge right click choose climb cut click OK and uh, now we can rotate it back again or we should we should machine the, the other side so we can rotate it 90 degrees no wrong way rotate that's better and reselect it for MADCAM and then we can machine this surface we can use the same ball and cutter so um, then I, I uh, select region curve to keep it on this surface select that region and then I make a planar finishing could put zero degrees and uh, blend connections and there we have the tool path so I select the region curve on this side make a planar finishing So now we can uh, rotate it back again 180 degrees and uh, now we can simulate all the two paths together
Thank you very much.